Um, all right, so I wanted to go over how to properly set up your IAC driver. Um, so this will be the first thing. The IAC driver is what we use to get Ableton to communicate to itself so we can have our loops going, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is go to your system preferences. Um, you know what? <laughs> I don't remember how to get there, so let me do this. MIDI. You go to your audio and MIDI setup, okay? You search that by hitting command spacebar. And then generally it looks like, hold on, let me do that again. Generally it looks like this. Uh, this is what you will normally see on the screen. So in order to get to the windows that were already open, you'll go up to here in audio MIDI setup. Hit window. Show MIDI studio. Now, at first, you'll have all this stuff kind of grayed out, and the IAC driver will be kind of grayed out just like this uh, because it won't be on. Mine is already on, so I'm just showing you. So you'll double-click on the IAC driver, um, and then you'll this will not be selected. It'll, be, it'll say devices online. See, just like that, you saw that that went gray there. So you'll select devices online, and then if you click on ports, then you can see here is where I was able to name all the things. Here's where I'm able to name and add ports. These are all ports to get me to connect to connect to different things. So I'm obviously using bus two. Sorry for all the noises. Uh, and so if I wanted to add another one, we have like five already. But if I wanted to add another one, I just hit that plus and you get bus six. So that's already set up and I could just double click on that or let me see. Uh, yeah, I could just soft click on it and it'll rename it if I wanted to name it something else, but I have them all named in backup click. Then you would hit apply, but since we already have that done, we don't need to do that. Don't apply. And so then what you would do at that point is you would come to Ableton, you would go to live, preferences, and once that loads up, you'll go to this sidebar over here that says link MIDI. And so whatever whatever uh, driver you set up, it takes on that name. So what what will be defaultly set up is like these other ones right here, just like that one that I just set up in there. It'll have the track on and the remote off. What we want to do is have the IC driver, just like this backup click is set up here, to have that off and then remote is on for the input. But for the output of that same thing, we want it to be on on track okay so default wise like IAC driver bus 6 like we just created in that window it'll say on here and nothing will be selected here we want to select IAC driver backup click or whatever we named it on as far as the remote and then for our, uh, on the input and on our output we want it to be on on track and that's how you set up your IAC driver